and we're live. Welcome to Tuesday at Dive Bar Comedy, you guys. What's up? What's up? I'm Wild Joe. We have a great cast of comics tonight. So we're going to start it off with Carol. And uh, Carol's going to play our theme song by the late and great GT Tallian. Talks about wanting to go out to a dive bar and do some comedy, which is what everybody wishes they could do right now. It is ready. The forbidden Here fruit. Here we go. I wake up when the sun goes down. I wake up when the sun goes down. I want to do some comedy, I want to do some comedy, at a dive bar, at a dive bar, at a dive bar, at a dive bar, I can't say what I want to say, I can't say what I want to say, I'm centered, dive bar comedy, Comedy, dirty bad nasty comedy, dive bar, dive bar comedy, dirty bad nasty comedy, dive bar, dive bar comedy, dirty bad nasty comedy, dive bar, dive bar comedy, dirty bad nasty comedy, dive bar, dive bar comedy. <laughs> there we go. Hold that note until the very end. Running out of breath. If you guys hear bath water running in the background, that's just my baby taking a bath. I am uh, doubling as a lifeguard right now. So let's get into these interviews with some of our awesome comics. We have some new people to the show and some returning guests. Let's... Uh oh, it's going to be crazy. All right. Let's start with Gino. Hey. Gino, you're in a real bar. Where, yeah. where are you, man? I'm uh, I'm above the chapter one in the, inside the green room, the, the infamous green room, which is now currently shut down. So I, I have a full bar here, and below me, you can I don't know if you can hear, but there's like a party in full swing going on. I had to shut all the windows so that we wouldn't get all the music coming in. I, I'm I'm a dork. What is chapter one? I've never heard of this. Chapter one is uh I don't know if you know who do you know who Evan Cassidy is? He's he's like he's a guy in Orange County. He does a lot of stuff for the improv and he's kind of halfway responsible for the scene down here. And he had a regular uh, Sunday Monday night uh, downstairs. So I had a regular uh, slotted right above him. So so you went above the bar to yeah. do the bar show. Yeah. So you're an Orange County guy. You live in Orange County right now? And, and County, I'm in Santa Ana right now, GTSA. So you guys have been having a, a lot more freedoms than we have in LA as far as the uh, pandemic measures. So you guys have your open bars still and stuff like that? Uh, or what's going on I down there? It out in the streets. So like, uh, it just looks a lot more happening. When you get out in the street, it looks like a carnival all the time. But it's just that everyone who would be inside is now outside. And so all the music is also out there. So it kind of looks like, it looks like that DeBarge music video. You know what I mean? Rhythm is <laughs> Except nobody- Oh my God, nobody mentioned that's DeBarge. That's right. Yeah. I love DeBarge. Uh, oh, some no, of my no. favorite songs. There's one called, uh, Who's Holding Donna Now? It's like one of the best songs I know ever. a bunch of their songs and I don't know that part. You know what, look it up. No. This is a, uh, I'm dropping a, what a, a recommendation. I'm gonna remember that. Who's holding Donna now? Like, you know what I love about Demar? The letter started with goodbye. I read it half a million times. That's the yeah. first line. He gets dumped by Donna. He wants to know who's holding her now. 
It's a beautiful mm -hmm. song. Anyway. Looking at him, he never dated a woman named Donna or a woman. Anyway. This, uh, you know, if you were of a certain age, maybe you would have dated some Donnas and Lindas and, yeah. you know, yeah. certain Karen's. names. <laughs> Carol's. Some Carol's. Carol. Oh, yeah. Well, you can still get that right now, brother. <laughs> <laughs> my she's, she's like, what should I name my daughter? I'm on Gretchen, Gertrude, Ethel. All right. <laughs> like, Helena. The names come back in style. You never know. My yeah. friend almost named her baby Roger. I'm like, Roger? Of all names. But I mean, whatever. Roger that. Roger's cool. Roger's cool. Roger's cool. Roger's cool. Baby girl? No. <laughs> baby so girl. what else has been going on, Gino? Uh, not a whole lot. Finally getting back out there, doing mics like with people. It's kind of <laughs> Yeah, Carol's got like a full schedule, a full slot. <laughs> I still haven't made it out there. But I haven't done a park show yet. I just did mm -hmm. my first park mic on, on Sunday and it was pretty legit. I had a lot of fun. It was nice to be out there in, in the smoky ass air. I want to say fresh air. Very <laughs> fresh right now. It's like everybody's smoking at the same time. It's a shared experience, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. I, I tried to make it to Carol's uh, Thursday night at uh, the fountain, but then mm -hmm. my babies decided to randomly take a nap exactly when I was about to leave for some reason. So they're very they unpredictable. Know. Like I, I told uh, Rachel, this baby's going to be a problem. And she, she laughed her ass off. But he is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to mute myself this whole show because there's a lot of grunting and groaning and making sounds. Oh my god. Anyway. Oh, I'm like, sorry. <laughs> I said it's about a year and a half too late for an abortion. I have oh a boy. Uh, little boys like it when you play with their ear and you play in their hair. It calms us down and makes us sleep. Oh, I thought you were going to say something nasty, Mr. C. No, no, no. I, I, I heard in Japan like, they My mom would babies. twist or mess with my ear. Or like just keep messing with my ear for like five, 10 minutes, or just like rub my hair, like rub my head, like just feel my head, like like she's a phrenologist and shit. Touching his ear. Sleep every no, time. Touching his ear. Knock his ass right out. Or I, you can give him a bottle cap and lick. Oh. All right. I don't know what's working. Anyway, uh, Gio, I'm going to move on to the next person so that I can uh, get through these faster and mute myself as soon as possible. But I'm happy to have you back. I think this is like your fourth time on our virtual show, which is awesome. I finally, uh, Carol and, and everyone, I finally did a spreadsheet of all the comics that have been on our show. I think we're up to 108 episodes. And uh, we've had 210 comics on Dive Bar Comedy. Wow. Yeah, yeah nice. I feel like it's like a small, tight group, but it's a group of over 200 people that we've had on. Nice. So. Uh, oh, guys, I'm, I'm switching to Geo. I'm switching to Reliance. It's going to be yeah, good. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch future. some of the... Sorry about the whole glitches. I forgot about. I need to switch to a better network. Okay, well, yeah, definitely, but I like mute, this. Can we mute this guy? Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh... <laughs> and meanwhile, there's some people coming in from far off lands and uh they don't know how to use the internet yet which they should but uh all right rachel d i like your bar scene you look like <laughs> you, you look like a bartender you look like a natural bartender have you ever bartended oh, i think it's because i've done it for like fucking 10 years honey <laughs> it's like let's go i was a bartender at pink taco okay <laughs> ah! That's big time. That's big time. And um, it is. I was the oldest person to ever work at Pink Taco. <laughs> is that got to be 21. So <laughs> somewhere between 21 and, and Rachel D is the mean, yeah. the mean age. Hey, my birthday is coming up. It's going to be on, it's going to be on Sunday. Oh, happy birthday. My birthday is on the 17th. Thank Shout you. Out, Virgo. Happy Ooh. birthday. 43. You guys, I'm proud of it. I'm going to be 43. Woo! All right, boy, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so you're a young thing. Oh, so you're a young thing. You're 43. That's perfect. <laughs> God, 44. We're, we're, oh, yes, girl. Let's go. Right there. Right there. Yes. Right there. But uh, <laughs> that's awesome. So you're having your birthday. Are you going to celebrate or do anything? Yes. Yes. I have a hot date on Friday mm. night. Yeah. Ooh, with, with someone you know, I hope. 
Oh, uh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> whether or not it's somebody I know I'm sure it'll be hot so <laughs> so uh do you have any uh interesting things that happen to you bartending any good oh people meetings or stories of weirdos or anything oh that we weirdos. should know about oh my god no okay so I had one guy I went I was walking towards them and I went to put two huge beer steins up on the bar and this guy used that opportunity to grab both of my boobs at the same time. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's horrible. He didn't understand that I had two large steins of liquid available to me. <laughs> and I dumped them both on <laughs> his head. <laughs> well, good for you. Good for you because uh, you. <laughs> not everybody would have done that. I probably would have been trying to save every drop of beer and, and then been proud of myself that I was able to not spill. So oh, you know. they were not wasted. Okay, that, that was not a waste <laughs> of beer. Okay. Wow, what they a jerk! Used very well. Very opportunistic. He waited for the exact moment when he thought yeah. you, you were unable Let's to do, do anything. And set them down. Wow, wow. Well, are you so surprised that men are opportunistic? Come on, honey. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just, he sees the opportunity. I mean, it's actually kind of a impressive quality, but used for like, you know, nefarious purposes. So oh, he's like, dude, okay. <laughs> um, I'm not usually even that impressed. <laughs> but uh, wow, well, you, you survived, you showed him. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 So, uh, what have you been? How have you been keeping busy, Rachel? Oh, I just got hired. I'm teaching sixth and seventh grade Zoom classes. Oh, good for you. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I had to. Have, I had to. Though I had to set up because I was doing all my Zoom shit in the bedroom, and I felt like teaching sixth and seventh grade with my bed in the background felt a little weird. So mm -hmm. I had to like. This is the bar background. Find a new place to do, to do Zoom stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so are you using your virtual bar background then for your yeah, yeah, teaching? Yeah. Honestly, the bar background I feel is way more appropriate than my bed. I don't know what that is, but maybe you should put clothes on when you teach the Zoom. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> That's why she's the most popular teacher at school. Right, right. Everybody comes to her class. You know, it's become a gig. It's it's a gig, okay? It's a gig economy now. So, you know, whatever gets you more students, you know? <laughs> like, it's a bringer. Yeah, you know what I've it's a bringer. <laughs> all the, all the you bring a boob, female child molesters are always the pretty ones for some reason. Like, what? They as, as far as the teachers. All the ones in the teacher are always molester. really pretty. And I'm like, why is it the hot chicks that are doing that? You know, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. Nothing I about you, know. but I'm just what? saying. I, I, get, I, get, I, get, I get grown teacher. men. I don't need a seventh grader. <laughs> Sorry. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I find it really weird. They're like 30 years old and they're attractive. And then they're going for like middle school kids or high schoolers. No. Oh. Mm -mm. no. Yeah. They, yeah. Well, I, don't even, I, stopped, I stopped even going for 24 year olds. So I think I just now that you're teaching, right? <laughs> now, yeah. yeah, now that they're your old students from back in the day, that they've grown up. <laughs> oh man! All right. Well, we're happy to have you on, and I'm sure you're going to get a lot of material with these weird little kids. So. Oh, they're they're adorable. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> good. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, All right. Well, thanks for coming on. Oh no, where'd she go? Joe, we can't hear where'd you. She go? Joe. I think the baby just took over the entirety of the show. We oh, muted. Oh, we lost. Uh, we yeah. Lost. Babies ruin everything. Oh, I'm muted. Like, okay. so she has a technical <laughs> genius. There's a technical genius here, Alyssa Poteet. She uh -huh. figured out I was muted. I've been talking for five straight minutes. And. Uh, <laughs> And you guys missed all of it, but anyway.
Alyssa, welcome back to our show. You've got your booze behind you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm not a technical genius with the backgrounds, apparently, unfortunately, but I grabbed all the booze in my house. It's, yeah. a, it's a mighty collection. Very you could be uh, a set, you could be a set designer. Is oh, that yeah, called? really. Yeah, I did uh, the tallest in the middle to give it a, a filled out feel right here. Yeah, and three is like a magic number in art. They, yeah, they three and three makes everything look good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and comedy too. Ooh. Thank you. It uh, it took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get here, but I think we, I think we really made something special right here today. I like it. I like it. So I'm happy to have you back. Uh, Thanks. You've been in our show before, and for people who need a reminder, can you tell the people where you're from and where are you broadcasting from? Oh yeah, I'm from outside Chicago, and I'm here right now in Boyle Heights, Los Angeles, chilling in my one my my bedroom it's uh, okay i'm about to lose my whole top so i better go down like this because Ooh, the uh, writing's I'm, up. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like one of those people like hiding down at the bottom like uh anyway my baby what is like you are you breastfeeding it's oh, okay it's gotcha. like a non-stop activity people the think it's like entertainment is below the screen gotcha gotcha yeah there's a lot going on down there um you know, those youtube yeah videos but the calorie burn alone yeah. is worth it <laughs> I'm just telling you, you know about the calorie burn right the calorie i mean I, I can eat a lot and the yeah, calorie it's... burn is amazing <laughs> yeah it's um it's not like they you think it's going to be like a they even ask the doctors, like, how many times do they feed? How many minutes? I'm like, it's like a nonstop on and off, switching side to side, hours on end type of thing that just hours keeps for going. one meal or like yeah, per like day. Calorie burn. That per time day. my kid breastfed till he was five, guys, because the calorie burn. I was not about to give it up. Oh, you okay. probably shrink like, when you, like, you stop videos. too. You're talking I, I, I like, hey, you like, hey, you ready for school, buddy? Oh, thank you. You look good today, too. Like, having a full-blown <laughs> conversation. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but they wow. learn how to talk when they're, like, two, before they're even two. So you could still have a conversation with your one-year-old, you know? It, oh, it's just I'm, not like, as mature. Oh, but I'm, conversation, like, with the right. mouth. Yeah, that's fun. That's something you Yeah, <laughs> I'm scared what's going to happen to my boobs when I quit, because I was, like, probably a double A beforehand. And now I'm probably a B or something like that. Nothing huge, but I'm like, oh, I'm going to miss my boobs if I quit. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to nothing again. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, baby. Stick around for, for all your hard work. I thought that's how it works. I thought you walk away with a little something. No, I don't know. I'm going to have to post it on some well, message boards. Got to post that up to Facebook and do a survey or a poll. <laughs> Find out what the mom's board say they deflate they become like pancakes mm -hmm. that's oh. what i've heard like dry yeah. up. that's that's, that's why that's why <laughs> you know let that baby <laughs> let that baby take you to <laughs> a skinny place before you let go <laughs> nice. good advice okay let's not even say dry up <laughs> it deflates i don't know it's, it's not nice to say to women okay no, i'm scared i'm scared now <laughs> Don't ever stop. <laughs> I, I won't. That kid, yeah, the kid's gonna be driving me to school before uh, <laughs> I stop. You know, oh my God. Not, can they drive anyway, I'm doing some contortionist things to try not to show my boobs on camera. But anyway, uh, Alyssa, what else? What else you've been up to? Anything exciting? Any shows? Have I been up to? The, oh, yeah. yeah. I just went up with uh, Carol to San Clemente about a week ago. Oh, that, cool. was, that was fun. Uh, my girl Carol. Yeah, we did a comedy by the beach. That was very fun. Yeah, just doing a lot of comedy, writing, whatever the fuck you guys tell people that you're doing to feel productive. I'm doing all that as well. Yeah, yeah, all that. Good. Well, you're very funny. I'm happy to have you back. And uh, oh, thank you. Very to hear excited. what you have to say tonight. It's always oh, fun. Oh. My all voice. right. You're so, so good. Who else? Multi I couldn't even, like I can't even tell that you're completely occupied with a completely unrelated task right now you're killing it wild. you know what it's like one of those things you could do while you do other things you could <laughs> definitely you, you could do the phone you can watch tv Rachel's there miming it yep you could do a lot of things at the same time 
<laughs> I can tell Rachel's laughing. She's muted. But anyway. <laughs> I got a lot going on. Yeah, it's all over. You're down. Oh, you, this is 2020 out. We out here. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, but you, you know what? On Instagram, all these uh, breast is best, like breastfeeding people on Instagram, they show their whole kit and their nipple. There's ways to photograph it without showing everything. There's yeah. ways to say, I breastfeed my baby without showing like the entire thing. But and you're like, doing it. Yeah. You can't see it. You see a little head here. Yeah, face trap where you can't baby. Like, Two and one. Oh my God. Anyway. <laughs> all right, you guys, this is fun. Okay. Who else is focused, focused and paying attention? Kenny Lyon, he's eating, but I think he can answer some questions. What are you eating, Kenny? Uh, eating some Pizza Hut breadsticks. Oh, nice. Did you have the pizza already or what? No, nah, I was eating the, the breadsticks. breadsticks first, then I was going to do the pizza. Okay. Oh, so you have it <laughs> waiting for you. <laughs> I'm right here just sitting in the car uh, in a parking oh, you're in lot. in a car? Yeah. All right. Well, you look good. What's been going on, Kenny? Anything exciting? Uh, I was just trying to promote Johnny Stewart's open mic at the old Bird's back room. In a real um, life place, in a room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Money How's that legal? I thought people weren't allowed to go cool. in a room anymore. Loopholes. Yeah, what kind of loophole is this? Out for anyone. I don't know. Maybe Elizabeth told me. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just sneaky. This is like the prohibition days, like in the the twenties or thirties or whenever that was last right. hundred years ago. Uh, People are sneaking, sneaking, and doing <laughs> doing sneaky mics. But, uh, Underground mics. What else has been going on, Kenny? I don't want to um, interrupt your cheese sticks. Hot, basically. Nothing. I mean, just hanging out. None really. If anyone wants to invite me to their outside open mic, I'll, I'll go. <laughs> so, Kenny, you, you got kicked out of a lot of bars and uh, huh. comedy clubs for getting naked on stage. So and now, now if you're going to do an outside open mic, how do you feel about getting naked on the beach or getting naked at a park, getting naked at the fountain? Is that as part of your... As the cops don't arrest me, I'm totally down with that. You know, as long as the police don't show up and then I go to jail... <laughs> For having too much fun. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I don't think they could kick you out. I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe they could arrest. <laughs> I'm not gonna get banned, but I sure as hell will be a registered <laughs> nudist or some shit. Like, you know, maybe you should find a nude beach. You could start a mic at a nude beach. You could do the naked Kenny Lyon naked nude beach mic. Yes, and. Um, I will be inviting everyone. <laughs> Everybody you ever wanted to see naked, you could have. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, good. All <laughs> right. Well, I'm glad you're still doing it, Kenny. You've been on the comedy scene for a long time, and and a regular, always doing mics like like religiously. So you're still doing it. That's good. Yeah. Awesome. Love you guys. Love the whole comedy scene. Uh, come to Johnny Stewart's for five bucks it's pretty fun all right <laughs> all right cool kenny well it'll be fun to hear your set all right i, I don't want to take you from your are your breadsticks are they with cheese inside they're or they're gone just plain? the breadsticks are gone <laughs> I, I've been, I've been watching it. all right time for your pizza you eat your pizza and i'm gonna see who else we got here all right Susie sitcom Hey, hey, hi. I like your background. It's like a space age. It's even moving. That's, I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's actually I love it. a bar that I used to live above. It's the Double Door in Chicago. Oh. It was this venue that, it's a smaller venue, but a lot of bands would come and practice there. So uh, in the 90s, it was like the Bulls, the Bears, everyone was really hot. It was also alternative rock time. So the Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, cool. Yeah, Nirvana it was. I, I lived there. I would see the secret shows because um, they just let, let me into all the concerts. Ah! All the cops on the place, you know. So um, I got that sounds fun. 
Yeah, yeah. I got to see actually, and the Rolling Stones came to play there one time too. So they like blocked off the streets and we had to get escorted by mounted horse to get in. And yeah. Oh, wow. Fun. So I have a lot of uh, fun memories of this bar, but it's didn't survive. Wow. Well, it, it's a cool looking bar. Yeah, I like it. I like it. You, you found the right picture. Yeah. So, I, I'm, so you're from Chicago. I am. I'm from Chicago, born and raised. So Alyssa, I got some love for you. Shy town and love. Awesome. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of shows. Carol invited me on the show. Um, and I've been doing her open mics or her shows at the park, which has been, uh -huh. they've gotten bigger and bigger. I've been doing those every week. And then the one in the awesome. then, um, it's like an equal amount of comics and homeless people. So it's a good mix. Do the, do the homeless people watch the show or they're just um, there I doing their own thing? I, I say thank you to them for letting me perform in their living room, you know. Yeah. They appreciate it. They kind of I mean, but are they paying attention? Do they laugh at your jokes or yes. any of that? They actually pay more attention than the comics. The comics just go like, nobody's better than me. I'm the funniest. The, the drunks, I mean, I shouldn't say the drunks, I'm sorry. The homeless people. <laughs> they might be drunk too. <laughs> drunk like, ah! Ah! The homeless people actually laugh at my jokes. Yo! You do you, girl. Go for it. <laughs> There's a difference between a drunk and a homeless person, but you can be drunk and a homeless person at the same time. Well, you know, so. the real like magic is if you can get someone to stop mid shit, like if they're shitting right in front of you <gasps> and laugh at you, that's like, yeah, that joke was good enough to stop that mid shit. Wow. Gold. That's Comedy like <laughs> gold. some true talent, right? It's wow. like online marketing, right? Like comedy gold, right? But yeah, so I think maybe one time I oh I, that's like my goal when I go out to the fountain, like, can I make one of these guys stop mid shit to like look and like laugh? Woo! I got some. Wow. Stuff. <laughs> well, no wonder Carol. No wonder Carol recommended you because uh, <laughs> yeah, if you can make drunk homeless people stop shitting with your. <laughs> With your killer punchlines, I mean, what more could anybody ask for in a talent? So that's great. No, how I've long have you been out in LA? You've been here for a while. Uh, it'll be actually September was five years. Ooh, five yeah, nice. Anniversary. Yeah, it's nice. I, I finally feel like this is home now. It took Aww. a while, you know, but I think um, it, it's it, you know it's like a new country here, LA. It's not like any place else in the world I've ever been to. It's very different. Well, it's like a mix of every country because there's so many people from everywhere here, kind of. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not the diverse. I think it's just the language, the way people speak. There's okay. People, is Shaggy, is he supposed to be on the show or did he just like break it? Shaggy up? is in India for some reason. And uh, even though India is known for having good technology, he's having some technology he's not, issues. He's one comedian, he's not like an IT guy. Shaggy, oh, yeah. what's your problem? Call it I don't know. Let's talk to Shaggy. All it's right, an Susan, irony. Thanks for coming on. It's a perfect Shaggy, irony. Thank you so much for having me. I know. I was just like, he, did he break it? I mean, yeah. We got the good software. Still, our hardware is not up to the mark. Um, Maybe I need to switch to a better network. I mean, I like this network. Um, yeah, is, it's is in the process. Network? Your picture. Can you guys hear me? Crystal clear. It's like ridiculous. Like you're the furthest away. You guys have good hardware. You guys look so pretty. You have like Aww. every one of you. Shaggy. You guys have good hardware. Everybody looks good like hardware. each and every one of you are looking like dolls or something. Because we're from <laughs> LA. That's why, Shaggy. All the girls are beautiful in LA. That's Shaggy, true. can you hear us? And that, all? That's why we hate each other. Okay. <laughs> <Wait. Listen. laughs> Shaggy, how did you end up on this show all the way from India? What happened? How'd you find us? He hacked it. Hacked it, right? He hacked it. He hacked it. This is our. <laughs> I don't think he can hear us. Shaggy, can you hack the show? If I speak louder, can you hear me? That's usually what people do to me. Well, I will say, uh, if you have a background going, it does uh, take up some of the stream. He may want to go with a plain background and it'll help. You know what? Better. I'm going to type to him. I'm going to ask him the question. Can you hear us? How, how hear you. did you find <laughs> us? Yeah. I told you, it's a hack. How uh -oh, did you find uh -oh, us? I got to mute myself. Uh -oh. Facebook. 
or Facebook? Yeah, chop, 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 chop. chop okay, chop, chop, chop. I think that's the last of our comics. If Shaggy can't hear us, yeah. Mr. C, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you start the show. Okay, good. That was our last comedian. All right, great. Yeah, we start the show. Great job, Wild Joe. Right. Good job. Right. Yeah. Um, well, basically, I'm about to run over to verbally right quick. So, yeah, it's the, it's the Dial Bar Comedy Show. I'm Mr. CD Enforcer, a.k.a. Poppy Call Little Bad Boy, uh, the Virgo from Virginia, uh, but actually Philadelphia. But I did go to Hampton. Birthday's on the 17th. We go on to Catalina Island, man, from the 17th to the 21st. So if you're a Catalina Island wild motherfucker, come out. You're going to see some skit bags doing some shit, banging lines off a little kid's head, all kind of dope shit. So come on out. When not, we also got a lady coming out, Miss Four and One Day G. Don't ask me what that means. All <laughs> right. So y'all ready for this dive bar comedy show? Uh. All right, right. So we got our comedians coming up. And basically the, the lineup is going to be my man Kenny up top. Then Susie sitcom, then Shaggy, then Goddamn Rachel D, then Gino, and then Poteet is closing it out. And that's how it's going to go, and I'll talk a bit in between. But that's how we roll. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yes. All right, there we go, we go, we go. So, I always love to start the show with what I call a cherry busser. Uh, some say that's a boundary uh, moving gentleman. Some call it edgy, but he hates the word edgy. He actually hates edgy comedians. I think he attacks them when he sees them in the street. That's not <laughs> a joke. Um, so this guy is not edgy. He is boundary pushing, boundary breaking, and he expands boundaries. Your state was one size when he came in, and it's four sizes bigger when it leaves. And that's why we always start off from lions from the jungle. So can I get a clap, 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 clap for Teddy Rock Lion? These are all the hacky comedians. <laughs> What's up, y'all motherfucking dive bar? We got baby GT right here too. Nobody wants to give baby GT the mic. Give her the mic. We're gonna be singing some songs. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, y'all. We are motherfucking yes, nice. living the days out here. We're living the days. Um, you know, a lot of people are complaining about staying at home. I'm actually enjoying the the fact that there's not a lot of people out there in the street when I'm trying to pick up prostitutes. So that's really cool. <laughs> The streets are like a hotel, okay? There ain't nobody watching, nobody, nobody's looking, nobody's calling the cops. So it's a free for all, it's open season. Um, I'm also enjoying the, um, the, 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 the whole motherfucking thing of Tinder. Anybody here? Everybody use Tinder, right? Bumble, Tinder, Hinge, everybody's using something. Um, I like Tinder because a lot of these girls think that I'm Asian. And then I, I get to see the racism, you know, beforehand. Like, I get to see it with my own eyes. As soon as I go to their house and I am, you know, talking to them, and then I tell them that I'm not Asian, suddenly they ask me to leave. And then moments later, I get deleted off the app, and I get reported in the app for saying lies. And I'm like, I never said I was Asian, okay? All I said was that I was racially ambiguous. That's all I said. So I don't know why I have to get kicked out. But um, <clears throat> what else is going on? I uh, I live in a Section 8 apartment, so I, I, I'm not really worried about the whole rent, whatever. I only have to pay 52 bucks a month, so <laughs> everybody could go jobless. I don't really give a fuck. Um, Donald Trump. He's awesome. I'm a big Donald Trump supporter. I didn't I didn't get to vote for him, but I probably will this year. I will get I will vote for him. It, it's just like, why is everyone trying to act like he's not the coolest president in the world? Okay, the guy said that the, the guy said that Clorox cured uh, coronavirus. Everybody was calling him a moron. Then we find out that he was right 
Okay, he's like <laughs> fucking Yoda. I can't he's you like first. Yoda. Yeah, like he's the man, bro. And I wish, I wish, I I could like you know show my my lo- loyalty to him because he's the best president in the world. All right, I don't care what anyone says. Also, I, I really enjoy, like I said, having sex with prostitutes. Anybody else here like to? Pick up people from the night. No, just me. You know, women. I just want to say I've never been to Hong Kong and Tijuana. Uh, man, I really enjoy the girls that line up on Western between Wilshire and Pico at like three in the morning. Okay, like the more south you go, the bigger the booty gets. Okay, like the girls get blacker, the the, the titties get huger and juicier. I, I enjoy prostitution. I hope they legalize it. Okay, because. This world is full of shit. We got to, like, go on Tinder and act like we're a race that we're not to, just to get laid. It's fucked up. I'd rather fucking hook up with a lady that, you know, smokes meth and smokes crack and doesn't <laughs> mind swallowing my cum for 15 bucks, all right? I don't care if she's addicted or whatever. That's none of my business, okay? And going on dates with these women is so much, like, laid back than going on a date with a girl with a job and a house. Uh- they don't ask you what's your hobbies, what do you like to do, you know, who, who, who do you like to watch on Netflix? They don't care about any of that shit. All they care about is, do you have $15? Uh, do you have a condom? Uh, do you have any STDs? And I say, yes, yes, no. And that's how I get in the motherfucker. That's how I have fun, okay? Every time I'm, I'm getting my cock stuck in my mom's truck, at three in the morning, I have the biggest smile on my face. You guys don't have, you guys have no idea the amount of joy and pleasure <laughs> sex brings to me. And I hope that everyone in the world stops looking at me like I'm some sort of scumbag, okay? I'm a good person, okay? I just can't, I can't have a normal conversation. I just can't, okay? <laughs> I don't like to tell women. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, I like to read this book, that book. It's a lie. I don't read anything. I don't read anything. If it's not on Facebook, I'm not reading it, okay? If it's not Facebook drama, I'm not reading it, okay? If it's not uh, whatever I have to type in Pornhub, I'm not reading it, all right? That's what it is. So thank you for letting me uh, come here and uh, say all kinds of vulgar, unnecessary, offensive (laughs) shit, but... Uh, that's why I love you guys, and that's why you will always have my support. Whenever you guys need me, I'm here. <laughs> so thank you so much. <laughs> love you guys. Have a great night, and uh, y'all have good. Y'all have fun now. Yeah, another round of applause for Kenny Lyons. <laughs> <My girl. laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Open them doors up wide, and also as a presidential candidate. I will be legalizing prostitution. <laughs> Donald Trump is not, so I'm a better man than him. So let's leave it at that. Uh, so your decisions are terrible. Vote for me. Write me in. If you hate both parties, write me in just to spite those batches so somebody's got to interview me and ask me questions. That's right. Negro Potter. Gentlemen, guys, look here, guys. What we should do <laughs> is we should give all the African-Americans yeah. money in cage 40% of Caucasians and um, take all of rich people's money. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm never going to win. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's why I'm for Kenny. Kenny. Yeah. That's right. That's right. He did his thing. Next up, we got another talent come to the stage. Ooh, this is one of them shy to LA transfers. We got plenty of them. LA attracts comedians like shit attracts flies, and we all stink because we fucked up on the inside, but we look hard as shit on the outside. And you love to stare at us, and you always look for us when you walk by because if you step on one of us, you're gonna have a problem. So you better get ready for this talent. It's stinky, it's funky, it's gritty, it's grimy. She got a name like she maybe worked for Al Capone at his TV studio. I don't know, but put your hands together and can I get a clap, clap, clap? To the queen of the SS, Susie Sitko. Wow, what an introduction. I don't know if I 
should say thank you or fuck you. Didn't you just call me a piece of shit? <laughs> I call us all pieces of shit. <laughs> Disturb my, okay. I love that you put me on after Kenny because I just started dating and I got online for the first time during COVID. And it's so difficult to explain what's on there. Now I don't even have to explain it. It's people like Kenny that scared me from being online. Uh, Kenny, I am Asian. Like, okay, so we are like complete opposites, right? Like I'm, um, I won't suck your dick for $15. I will ask you if an SPD. I wanna go out and like get to know you, maybe become friends with you. <laughs> But these guys are just looking for straight up hookers online, you know, so I think it's pretty funny. So um, I, I recently started dating. I was in a relationship for uh, 23 years and it just ended. Uh, so yeah, damn, damn. It's like part of it is like, damn. And then the other part is like, Whoa! right? We got to sell it. Um, so I went through a brutal divorce. So I'm going through a little bit of an identity crisis. I'm trying to figure out what it is I like, what it is I don't like again, you know, so I, um, whoa, Alyssa just got that guy Shaggy from India in her apartment. How did that happen? It's like the magic of television. Oh, man, it's trying to fuck. <laughs> okay, so um, I, uh, I got so distracted by this change. Of how did they do that? But uh, anyways, uh, okay, so like, uh, this is how I equate dating, you know? <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> I see you eating eating trying to eat something and um you know you go into your kitchen you see what you got you have a craving for like let's say chocolate donuts but you don't have any chocolate donuts in the kitchen so you just kind of like eat what's there all right and i got frosted flakes so i'm gonna eat the frosted flakes even though i want a chocolate donut so it's kind of like my dating um i have no audio oh, okay sorry about that i saw those notes come up um so i've been performing in carol shows and i'm doing the comedy carpool this friday so i want to Shout out to Carol about the comedy carpool. If you guys can make it, let everybody know. Uh, and basically, I'm just going to talk about my shitty dating life. But it just sounds so boring after Ken. Kenny, you know, Kenny, it's very difficult for me. I'm used to, like, having a stocked fridge, stock cabinet. When I have a craving, there's shit there, you know? It's like, when I wanted sex, I could just go out and get it. And now, I got to put on my fur my spear. I got to go out hunting for dick. It's just, I don't understand how people do this anymore. You know, it's like dating life and being single is like having an empty fridge, an empty cabinet every day. Hey, Kenny, are you still there? Yeah, right. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I wanted to see what you were eating. I'm uh, I was just rolling some weed now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know why you get naked every scene. You know, like I throw uh, naked every time. <laughs> I need to throw nakedness into my act. I just, I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> I'm, I get very distracted by all these people because I have ADD. So it's like uh, doing stand up, being broken inside. I like, I, I'm not broken inside. I'm so happy. Why would you say anything like that? It kind of threw me off. You know, it's like I like the fucked up person that I am. My therapist is, I'm not grounded because I'm floating. But I think that people, when they see me on stage, they like the fact that I'm fucking high, that I'm floating. I'm not going to let anything, like, bring me down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you like yeah. people, people, say, people will say, like, people will cut me down. They'll say, you're too fat. You got to lose weight. I'm like, fuck you. I don't have to lose weight for you. I don't have to do whatever you want. And I'll grab a donut, shove it in my face. Fuck you. Um, uh, I like right. doing, I like just, you know, here, here's a funny thing about Hollywood, okay? So I act, my kids act and model. And the one thing that casting directors always say, they're like, Susie, you need to be, um, what we're looking, I'm like, what is it you're looking for? Cause I don't really care. I never have dreams of becoming an actor, stand-up comedian. I actually uh, was kind of pushed into this. I, I actually started doing stand-up when I was four years old. I think that's really when I started. I've just been in the closet about it. I only recently came out. Uh, after I got divorced and publicly did stand up, because uh, my life is just a fucking joke. But quarantine made it even fucking funnier because the second I decided to get single, start dating, and then get public about stand up, the shit gets shut down. So it's like God's like, fuck you, you waited too long to fucking start your life. This is what you get. So 
for me, I'm just gonna, you know, re, you know, we were all kind of like pivoting and then I'm just gonna float, float up like, you know, like I do in my little fucking world up here. But anyways, I'm making no sets right now. And I just got the one minute. It's probably not even one minute left. Carol's just like, get the fuck off. Cause you're bombing, you suck. And no, nobody really knows because it's Zoom. Who cares, right? <laughs> Um, Rachel, I just have to say, you don't, you don't look like one of those child molesting teachers. I mean, your eyes <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Out <laughs> you do a little bit, but like, you have to have more white in your eyes. Have you noticed that they have like, <laughs> like there's more, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but they are kind of hot, you know, they have the black hair. They do kind of look like bartenders, but then they've got like this extra white, the black iris doesn't touch and it's. They the police should hire you. You should I have a friend like the, totally looks like one of those child molesters. You should women. walk the school hallways and be like, nah, I don't see the whites, but the, that the police. One. <laughs> you know? The child molester police. Although, you know, because I started dating and I do have kids, it's a little bit weird because I noticed I like the younger guys, like 20s yep. and 30s. And I mm -hmm. can't um like I, I I can't decide what to do. Like part of me wants to fuck them, but part of me wants to like mother them, you know? So it's a little bit difficult to date. Well, I don't know how old your kids are, but sometimes your kids give you cool things to like talk about with your new boyfriend. So. <laughs> right, like TikTok, especially if I date a young one, right? Like TikTok. Yeah, right. And right. right? <laughs> All right, guys, that's my time. Thanks for letting me like talk these things out. This is my therapy. Yes, mister. <laughs> I am fucked up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Self-made sitcom. Thanks for the free therapy, guys. I appreciate it. Can you guys hear me? We can hear you, Carol. I love you, Carol. Yeah. Hey, and that's one thing. And this show is actually educational because actually a lot of people I meet in comedy said actually their therapists recommended uh, that they could do comedy. Uh, and would not because it's a cathartic thing. I think that's why I think anybody who makes <laughs> art is usually because there's something going on. You want to express it without shooting up a school or beating your mother to death. So you make a song. You tell a couple jokes. Yeah. Maybe do some drugs. You know, you, whatever. You might get married for 23 years. Whatever it is. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? You just right. do it. And then things change. So I applaud that and I applaud your new journey. Another round of applause, everybody, for Susie, the self-made sitcom. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I heard that. That's right. That's right. That's right. So we got another talent coming to the stage. And this is one of my brothers from another mother. He's actually from India, like everybody said. I actually work at a online legal company. We basically actually brought in about 200 people from said place on the E9. I-9, as they called about a year or two ago. Guys, so just how African-Americans have light skin, dark skin, weird conflicts like that, the same thing is actually going on in India where like the light skin ones don't mess with the dark skin ones. And like, yo, I seen it at my job. Yo, this was crazy, right? So first this dude named Ashwin that I was cool with. And he was the first one there before he ever came. And everybody, he was, we was just like, oh, Ashwin, he's from India. He's like, yeah, India, whoop, whoop. he was cool. He's kind of, he's got a little, a little bit of a white boy, but whatever. But he's cool, right? So all the new real Indians showed up, right? And they were this color. <laughs> and all the girls had big butts and slim waist. And, and I was just like, are they, did they import 70 black women? It was crazy, right? And, and then all the dudes was dark. And then I would go into the lunchroom. And they wouldn't speak to any of the non uh, people, nobody, none of the Asians, none of the Latinos, none of the whites. I would walk into the room and they'd be, hey man, what's up? So I'd just be looking around like, oh shit, it's Wakanda up in the job. <laughs> so I'm excited about this brother because one of my brothers from another mother's coming out right now. I'm probably plotting on one of his cousins too because them girls is fine. Woo! <laughs> and anyway, let's give it up and let's get ready for the man. Some say he's sexy. Some say he likes to shag them raw. And some says he likes to shag them right. Put your hands together. And give me a clap, clap, clap. Da 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 da. For Shaggy Dori. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a um, um. That's an introduction. 
Oh, yeah, with all your collective characters spin together. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. I hope the uh, uh, I, I I hope the sound waves are getting straight. Um, uh, uh, regardless of all the uh, technical glitches that uh, we are facing right now, you know. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Um, we got lots of characters in the studio. Uh, thanks for having me, guys. Um, you know. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, no matter where we all come from, every time we take a sip of uh, a, a sip of something that really tastes good, something gets into us. That's called eat. We are we are think that so much in our life. In the world of in philosophy, there's a simple way to handle that. Uh, it's called Kundalini Yoga. All you need to do is. Uh, contract your asshole and release it. You have to contract it, release it, contract it, release it. The reason, uh, the reason the the the, doc, the the Vedic documentation is asking you to do that is that uh, all the human genetic ego, all from all everybody's ego. I don't want to pinpoint this or that because I'm I'm seeing both sides of the world. According to me, everybody has ego. So the, the, that ego is centered right, right behind the ass, right on top of the asshole, right behind the human genetic uh, genitals, right behind the human genitals, a little on top of uh, the human asshole. So uh, by, by contracting and releasing it, you actually lifting that uh that that bad data that energy right <laughs> from your asshole straight to your spine all the toes it comes you had to pump it pump it pump it and then and then transport it transport that energy to your spine and then right on top of your head and then release your asshole finally release it and then all the ego, all the bad data, all the Maya. That's what we call Maya. Maya. All the illusion. It will go back to where it comes from. So now we are clean. Good. You can <laughs> give it a try. It's, the, it, it's metaphysical, meaning it's not scientifically proven. <laughs> you know, they say imagination is uh, endless. The power of imagination is the starting point of great innovations. So with that, let's imagine. I request you all to contract wrestle together. That's all. Take it. Contract or wrestle. Release it. Can, can we all contract the wrestle? But but the problem is, the problem is we need some enforcement. We need some technology. Well, if it's not possibly, if it's not humanly possible to <laughs> ingrain this uh, habit, then comes the neural link. We can ask Elon Musk to enforce <laughs> this kind of activity. He, he is he is actually so close to this thing called the uh, the neural link. With the help of neural link, just we need to put some program in the neural. Link. So once we put that chip in our brain, we. Our human body will automatically crack the asshole and release it. So in a way, we, we have to combine science and spirituality together, you know, with the leap of faith. We can, like, look at the world forward or whatever. Yeah. Even even Google and all the uh, tech companies can come together and uh, authenticate, uh, uh, authenticate uh, the logins and logouts through uh, this um, uh, bio, biologically contracting the asshole and these things. Like how, how we do the biometric, right? Only if you do the biometrics, you'll be able to log in and log out and all that. Likewise, we, you need, we need to be like connecting and releasing our asshole to log into our accounts and things like that. So that's, that's not a bad idea. I mean, technically it is possible. See, all we need is electrodes. We simply need some electrodes, guys. With the help of electrodes, we can read the human neurons and we can also write, write to the human neurons. 
Uh, yeah, uh, it's fun. Uh, I, mean, I like it that way. No. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So what do we got? I go to Christian. I went to a Christian school and whatnot. I, I eat a lot of rice, and uh, that's how I became a rice Christian. You know, we are all rice Christian, and then um, uh, curry, curry Hindu, and goat whatever. <laughs> right. Well, guys, thank you so much. That's mine. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yo, back home, I heard they call him the king of rectal karma sutra. So. <laughs> telling you, they be like, damn, yo, the way he, I'm telling you. And yo, real shit, that was a great thing. And another educational experience. Did you know at the Dive Bar Comedy Jam? Yeah, we talk about prostitutes who are nice people. Yeah, we talk about, you know, maybe doing meth or, or not wanting relationships or wanting girls to be nice to you, like some of the wonderful ladies we have on the show, or even wanting women to pay your bills like Carol would. All those kind of things. Nobody wants to learn, but we've learned at this show. Today we learned about releasing your asshole. For example, if you ever spoke to any of my girlfriends that I used to be with, they would say, I release my asshole anytime I talk. So... That's how that goes. Um, so another round of applause for the king of rectal Kama Sutra, Mr. Shaggy. Shaggy, I didn't do it. Dure! And if anybody can count how many times he said the word asshole in his set, you get a free <laughs> ticket to next <laughs> week's show. So <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I think nice. he's gonna beat a world record of fitting it into the most the most times into any set. Yeah, I, I get it. It was clean. It was beautiful. It's it was beautiful. It was of assholes. <laughs> right. It was and it was educational. Now we're all gonna be healthier. We can clinch. I think all of us were clinching our assholes throughout that. I mean, I know I was. So I'm sure. How can you resist? How can you resist? Kegels oh, yeah. Uh huh. Asshole kegels. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I clinch every time I get my student loan bill. So it's totally cool. Uh, uh, and why not? And that's why I'm running for president because I really am going to do it. I'm knocking student loans out. But that's another thing. All right, so let's get ready for our next comedian. Another round of applause for Shaggy one more time, guys. And let's keep it going right into our next comedian. She is one of those dangerous debonairs. She is smooth. She is sweet. She is stylish, and she loves to make the students that watch her teach. Go want to do something and make them get impeached, if you know what I'm saying, Jack. And that's how it works out in the game. She about to have a great weekend coming up, and it is her birthday. And she going to get some cake from a friend or a foe, but she don't give a fuck how it go. Because she going to party to this shit, hit the flow. So get ready to give me a clap, 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 for R-A-C-H-E-L. <laughs> Woo! All right. Oh God, I love this show so much. You guys are so much fun. Fuck, Shaggy, I have to say, I have never had a TED Talk convince me of anal before, but I don't know. Like that, that was probably the closest I've ever gotten. Like a good five minutes on someone being like, no, but your butt. Like that, that was the best. Usually I just get something like, oh, my bad. And unless you're into that. <laughs> One of my favorites though, honestly, was a dude who like broke out the loop a little too early and then was like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I used the anal loop on accident. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Is that a thing? I thought all lube was like, you know, anal lube or otherwise, but is that, or unless that's your way of asking, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm impressed, I'm impressed. I've never heard an entire TED talk on convincing me to do anal. So Shaggy, <laughs> props to you, <laughs> but you're all the way in India. <laughs> I, have a, I have a friend who does comedy in India and I know there's like a billion of you, but I'm wondering, do you, do you know Utsa? <laughs> <laughs> he does comedy too. I don't know. I feel like there might be just two of you there. I don't know why. 
<laughs> Come on, Shaggy, you must know him. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I spent 10 years in Alaska and every time anybody asked me if I know anyone from there that they knew, I do. So I'm just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you have 10 men for every one woman in Alaska? You're right. No, yeah, they do. Girls they moving to like, Alaska. <laughs> Come on, Alaska, they always me. say, I mean, it's, it's like the state motto. Honestly, they're always like, Yo, the goods are odd, but the odds are good, you know? <laughs> we'll go take a weekend in Alaska. Come on, Carol. Let's go. Woo, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get some dick. You're gonna get some dick, but it might be shaggy. Like, I don't know. It might be and shaggy. Is shaggy's in India. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I just meant the dudes in Alaska have a lot of hair. Um, okay. Face, <laughs> you're so upset. She's like, why? Why? I, I told you this nice, nice talk about the asshole clinching. Get rid of the Maya. The Don't clinch. Like That's the country. worst thing for anal. I'm oh. telling you. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Rachel had to make it dirty. He was it's talking Rachel. about yoga, Rachel. It was yoga. <laughs> yoga is great for unclenching. Okay. Um. <laughs> Susie, I don't think you got the props, though, for your Frosted Flakes analogy. I am fucking there for you, girl. Like, I've been eating Frosted Flakes for so long. Um, I mean, honestly, I, I'm a little jealous. I've been eating grape nuts. Um, okay. <laughs> That's where I've been. And then Kenny, Fiber. holy shit. You are getting kicked out of bars for getting naked on stage? Fuck, no one kicks me out of the bar when I get naked. <laughs> Joe, Joe, honey, y'all, you with your baby, can't choosing, <laughs> what boob, like, just like, he's like, I don't, he's like, he's got, your baby has FOMO, he's just like, <laughs> like yeah, he's going back and forth, no, he he's, really, there, he's like, I don't, this, I got, this was good, but what about that one, you know, like, it's just, <laughs> his daddy's son, <laughs> babies with foam that's what we have now we have babies with FOMO <laughs> I, I get it though I'm a mom I, lo I love it I get it like I and I feel so blessed as a mom in quarantine I totally do I do because my kid lives with his dad so <laughs> <laughs> It's it's a blessing right now, I have to tell you. <laughs> but my kid is, is 17 though too. Like he's a senior in high school, so he's getting really close to that age of the men I date. So <laughs> helpful to me, it's helpful. We just have great conversations about what I should talk about. <laughs> before I have really great sex. So, <laughs> um, good for you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I feel like I have like the insider perspective. You know? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Your son could just make <laughs> facts for you. <laughs> So what are the kids talking about this these days? Yeah, like, you, it's time for him. 
I do. I, my son is hilarious. I love him to death. He's so great. He's a senior in high school right now. Woo! So I know. Yes. Give it up for him. Poor kid. I mean, when he was a freshman, Trump was elected. Okay. So he, when he started freshman year, he was like, mom, I've started my, my high school career. And I love that he calls it his high school career. Um, it's adorable. Uh, but he's like, I started my high school career as Trump being elected president. So I have, I don't even know why I'm surprised that I'm starting my senior year in quarantine. You know? right. <laughs> so it, it's, it's very cute. His, his girlfriend was talking about what outfit she was gonna wear to her first Zoom class. <laughs> He said, Aww. oh my God. And, um, yeah. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm wearing a Snuggie, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I bought him a Captain America Snuggie for his yeah. senior year. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what I, go out and save the world virtually, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, honey. <laughs> I can't see the light, so I'm just going to keep talking until someone tells me to stop. No. Um, okay. oh. <laughs> I love these Zoom shows, guys. They're so fun. Yeah. They're so fun. No, I have to say, like, I try and make them just like comedy shows. I really do. Like, I get trashed beforehand. Okay, <laughs> I do. I write some jokes. I wrote some jokes. There you go. I wrote some jokes. <laughs> I just, I have to say though, nothing beats in life, yeah. in person, yeah. sexual harassment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew I would miss it. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, but I do. I do. Oh, <laughs> Love you guys. Mwah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Miss Rachel D. <laughs> oh my God. That's great. And once again, another educational experience from Miss D. Today, she told a lot of my ladies, my recent uh, divorce ladies, like my lady that was on earlier. My ladies that may work so hard and men are intimidated and they just they just scattered the tiger pussy. Uh, whatever it may be. The tip is once your kids and your nieces and nephews grow up, hit them up, dog. Hit them up, dog. Hit up the young boys and shit. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta be more sneaky. Don't be like what the kid's talking about. He he like he's like, ew, mom, that's gross. I know what you're doing. Cause he's a he's a man, he's a fucking pervert. So you gotta do shit like, yo, what's your favorite song? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, what you want for Christmas? Oh, I want these such and such and such. Okay, that's what I'm gonna get for Tyrone ass. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta be slick on these little motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You can't just tell the young boy because he gonna put salt in the game. You know what I mean? Oh, he's like, yeah, mom, they like Barry White. Yeah, that's the new shit. I don't know. Nah, don't ask. You gotta be slick. Trick his ass. Buy him some shit. Throw him off. You know, put a note inside that snuggie when you get it for him. You know what I'm saying? So let's get it ready. Another round of applause for Rachel, the teacher educating us. D. Yeah. Oh. And we're going to keep it rolling back to back like cook crack. It's another gentleman. I like him because he got a heart like my own, clean background, few bottles of liquor, which we do drink from. And I salute to this gentleman. He is a builder. He is a constructor. He comes from a legacy of things that are worth everything you need to desire. He is a comedian, he is an entertainer, and he is a gentleman. And you need to get ready and get it down. So let's get it up and go. No, we gotta, we gotta do something. So we gotta do like a chant, because I feel like a chant. I feel like we bringing in like a Spartan warrior. So we just gonna go with the first letter of his name, because it's the GR, we gonna go with the G. And not everybody get to G, 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 G. Thank you, Mr. C. God damn, I don't know if I can live up to that. I just want to let you know that while, while you were talking, I just drank a beer in the Gulf because uh, people tell me I'm off-puttingly chill. So this is my way to get a little fucking... 
a little edge, a little edge just right oh, when the show started for me. That's why I would bring the energy way down if I got drunk right at the start of the show. I took a double shot. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going on. I felt it slip in. I'm like, all right, we'll drink an IPA in like three gulps. I'll fucking get it started. I'm going to be burping. I'm sorry. It's going to be okay. <laughs> can you see, can you see my eyes? This is what I look like all the time. I always <laughs> look like I'm really, really high. I spend half of my life convincing people that I'm not completely fucked up. I've had people take pictures of me and then I'm like, I'm not photogenic. You're going to see, I look fucked up. And they're like, no, you look great. And they take the picture that, and it's just like, I don't know what happened. You look like you don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I'm with you right now. I see that you're sober. I've had like the equivalent of two and a half beers. My eyes are fucking blood red shot. You would, you wouldn't be surprised if I started a fight with somebody in this empty room. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I'm on a comedy show. No, I'm sure. Um, uh, what am I talking about? Uh, I don't like to say the word, the Q word. It's a buzzword. It's one of those. Uh, it's like when you're, when you're a server and you hear the word split check, it makes you want to punch somebody in the chin. I don't want to say the Q word. It's become a buzzword for me. But I'll just say for my social interaction, I go to the place where I used to work. I, I was a bartender at a hotel and I go there and it's a bunch of really boring people. It's like, like visiting an episode of The Office for like 15 minutes. They all tell me their stories. They're real excited about it. It's like a whole bunch of fucking nothing. And when I'm there, I find something to get pissed about. I find some nothing to get fucking pissed about. I went into the sweet shop. I, 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 I know I seem petty. I know I seem petty. There was like, do you guys know the Fairlife milk? The Fairlife milk, it's like, it's like ultra pasteurized. It's made like by McDonald's or some like huge evil corporation or something like that. I could give a shit, right? But they changed their branding and I just look at the fridge and I see the sign at me staring at me and it says, yup, with an exclamation mark, all capitals, yup. I'm just getting, I'm just like, what the fuck is that? And by the way, I'm just gonna let you know, there was like some episode going on. There's some cops floating around and I'm explaining why this is annoying me. I'm like, I feel like this thing's fucking making fun of me. The comic in me is just feeling like insulted. I'm like, yup, I didn't ask you a fucking question. Yup, what the fuck is that, you know? And the cops start snooping around. And I'm just like talking to the guy who's working, you know, I used to work with, <clears throat> I used to work with. And the cop's just like, what do you have? What's your problem with yup? Like, it's, it just makes me feel stupid, doesn't it? What would you do if someone came up to you and said, yup, he's like, it's weird. It's nothing to get angry with. Like, what's your personal investment in my anger with yup? Okay. He's like, I'll tell you what, that's just some really fucking good milk. All right. Yup. Why are they, why were they so invested in my yup? You know what I'm saying? What was there? I just, I couldn't stand. I'm just like, you just want to contradict me. You just know that I hate police and you just want to fucking con you just like this guy has fucking had some run-ins and I just need to give him one, just a tiny one. Just a tiny one, so he has that shitty bitter taste in his mouth. I don't know. <laughs> What's the Q word? <laughs> the Q word. Did you, you say that? That's, that's my social interaction. That's my social interaction for the week. I stop into the hotel. I sit down. I look like an important person because I'm just sitting on the couch like I fucking mean something. I went to a... Uh, holy shit. I spent five minutes talking about the fucking yep. Holy shit. Yep. God damn. God. Yep. <laughs> it left a mark. It left a mark. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what kind of line is that? Bitch, your asshole. Let it go. Let go. Yeah. I was doing those asshole was exercises, was by the way, with them. I'm like, you know what? I need to quench my asshole more on. I need to do that. So I'm going to take this. Go out to the Maya Yup. I'm going to Jaggy. Did you? Uh, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, gonna join, I'm a yoga guy. I'm like, I'm gonna join Shaggy and I'm gonna do some, do some axle exercises, take some deep breaths, relax myself. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. That's all I got. Yeah. Have some empathy, yeah. girl. Yep, 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 Quarantine. Oh, oh I was like the whole set. I'm like trying to figure out what's the <laughs> Q word. And I'm like, yup, that has nothing to do with Q. 
I thought you were going to say some dirty word that starts with Q. Once. Okay. Okay. Queer. I'm like, what is the Q word? All right. We, we learned. Very <laughs> educational. Another round of applause for Gino, the bad man, Riccardi. Yeah. You know, we're going to spin to our last comedian. We say to the close, this one right here is the goddess. We're going to take it from Sparta to the hills of yore. Uh, some that see her will say she may look like a witch. Some that see her say that she looks like an angel that floats from their dreams. Others that see her would say she may be the essence of all we desire. Is this Athena? I don't know. It may be her. Huh. But get ready and get yourself together. And we got to bring her in smooth because we got to feel real tribal. I need y'all to get real tribal. So we're going to bring up a little chant. Y'all got to get in with it. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Boom 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 <laughs> That's them. I need to marry that man. Jesus Christ. Wow. This Who's has been an you? incredible <laughs> show. It really has. I, a disappointment, though, truly. I'm sorry to say, like, I hate to start out with beef right off the top, but let me tell you, being in the comedy scene, I have heard so much about Kenny Lyon's dick. So much. <laughs> and I thought this was the time. This is the bar where they can't kick him out. This is the internet. This is the place to show it. This is the same muscle memory as your only fans. This is it. And severely disappointed. What, what's the deal with Kenny's dick? He didn't show it tonight. I, I was really looking forward to it. I've heard so many things. Kenny, show your dick. Show. show your dick. That's this is the wrong good. show. Oh, you got sure. it. Oh, you guys see it? I'm going to end up on the list. You don't get $50. No, this is crazy. No, no, I, I thought. Oh, no, is he going to do it? Oh, no. I technically asked for this. I know you're not supposed to say that about women, but I guess this case, it would be true. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I brought my, I brought a bringer, you guys. You're welcome. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's how you bring one. You I didn't realize it wasn't that serious of a show. I didn't realize where we were on the totem pole, but I did just in case. <laughs> You're a real I mean, comedian. There are no rules here, baby. There's no rules. We're we're feeding children. We're doing shit. Rachel, I don't I don't know. I won't claim to know what kind of freaky sex shit your teenage son is into, but I know he's googling some mommy porn in the Pornhub bar. That's <laughs> I guarantee you that. Check that browser history out. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gino, I really felt you earlier. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, I always look high as well, because I'm always baked out of my fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> How that works. Dudes, dudes literally, multiple dudes on multiple occasions had thought it would be like a chill play to come up to me and call me a stoner girl. Like, straight up, like, hey, girl, you're not one of those regular girls, are you? You're, you're like one of those stoner girls. What the fuck? <laughs> that, that's not a compliment. That's just a nice way of being like, oh, you're fun and slow. Huh? <laughs> wow. You're so cute the way you're always losing your keys and covered in Cheeto dust. Look at you. I love a woman that can't remember my name. Let me tell you. What the fuck, stoner girl? I don't gender my drug habit. You crazy. <laughs> Stoner girl. I would rather never smoke weed again than be stuck in a room alone with you, sir. Jesus Christ. And never <laughs> that a woman can smoke weed on her own. Do you know what else I can fucking do on my own? I can wipe my own ass. I can pump my own gas. I can talk to a woman without her wanting to call the police. Keep up. Get on my level, sir. <laughs> Stoner. <girl. laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys can tell by my general vibe, but I come from white trash people. <laughs> <laughs> what is, I I don't want my dad is so trashy. My dad thought that WTF stands doing? for Where's the Fireball? <laughs> I'm like, Dad, no, what the fuck? And he's like, Yeah, what the fuck? Where's the goddamn fireball? I'm just, <laughs> it's fucking. So you can imagine the 180 for my life. When I went to college, I joined a sorority, right? Was anyone else here ever a member of a cult? 
at any point. <laughs> Wild Joe, you, no. you got nice cheekbones. No, yeah, I was, whew, okay, let's back up. I was in uh, an organization called Pi Beta Phi, which is Greek oh for my Orange God. County co course. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I was, you know, I was really proud of myself for like, you know, like meeting new people and getting outside of my comfort zone, like just in, in lasting a whole three weeks before they kicked me out. I was very proud of that. Very, Aww. very proud. They had no idea what kind of Midwest mayo trash they were letting into the establishment on rush day. No idea. I was not supposed to be led into the hot girl sorority. It was not like, I don't know if y'all can tell in this fucking like lighting my fucking pandemic crime, but I'm like one makeup tutorial away from having a face that's kind of like, my biggest fears are spiders and gluten, <laughs> you know? Like I could, that could be, give me a Kylie lip kit. I could look like my baby's first words. Like I love giving head and hate using condoms. <laughs> that could be me. I could have been that, you know? I, I think I have a strong work ethic because I like love giving blowjobs <laughs> over time. You know, that could have been me. <laughs> and I'm not here saying, by the way, like if, if you're like, if like Wild Joe, Rachel, if you're like, that's my truth, like no shame. Absolutely. Like do you, yes. I know you like your titty sucked, baby. I know you're like hey, 17 year old guys you're taking it home. You're like, you remind me of my son. Like, I know you like, I'm not here to slut shame. Not my no, I'm not. I do not. I have no problem with putting out. I have a problem with putting effort into putting out. Making men think there's something. I'm not about that shit. No, see. Yes! Okay? No, fuck that shit. No, I straight up, this is like TMI, but I feel like we know each other. We know what everyone's doing with their tits on the show. We share a lot. I, uh, Bro. I sort of had syphilis one time. And I told him that I was very, that I had syphilis. And all he said was, can you get that from oral? Yes, bitch, yes. He's like, all I'm saying is I've never heard of a dude be like, oh, I was going to bang this chick, but then uh, her lip liner didn't match her skin tone. Be like, fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> that never fucking happens. Anyways, uh, I think my time is up, but these memories will live on in our hearts forever. Aww. I love you. Not the memory of Penny Lyons, Penis. I'm sure some of that I can't get cleared out, but uh, thank you for the time. Thank you. Thank you. again educational as always brilliant experience oh my goodness another round of applause for the pale rider and her caballo Alisa Poti <laughs> that was the motherfucking last comedian of the dive bar show so we're gonna close it out right out of here thanks for all the comedians coming through uh, since my birthday is in a couple days, I'm going to do a quick little biography rap. Then I'm going to go. When's your birthday? Minutes. Happy birthday. Uh, September 17th. Oh, Happy baby. That's my little brother's birthday. Oh, uh, shit. I remind you of your son, don't I? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I got him, too. I got him, too, cuz. That's a good I joke. I'm under president. That's not a funny joke. Matter of fact, I, I, I condemn myself. I'm canceling me. That's some bullshit. All right. Once again, another round of applause for baby girl. She did a goddamn thing. Alyssa Poti. The pale rider. Her sorority found out, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. You don't know. All right, so I'll close it out. I'll do my little quick uh, biography rap. Do the names. Miss Wild Joe's going to take us home. <clears throat> so let me see. I don't know. I'm drunk. No, I'm, I'm, that makes sense. This is like a 15 year old rap. Um, I surfaced to the world as the third of a man and second of a woman. Economy is booming. Check to check, no more looming. Let's move into a bigger space. Too many living in the apartment place. So begins the case of that product me, Mr. C. Born and raised in the hood, Mount Airy. Mental looking kind of scary. The neighbors say, how dare he? Talk about the hood like it's ghetto. I take them to the bar, I make the youngsters drink stiletto while I tell them about the background. Went from middle matter, Mac pound. And everybody around the way is getting jacked now. Yo, I see the crack now. And it's killing me, you feeling me? 
the reefer steady healing me. I flash back to the fifth year when I started school with no fear. G Town Montessori year, I went there. My only memory is eating sloppy Joe there with my fro hair. Next step is elementary. RIP to that wallet nigga Tyree. St. Therese is where they drop me from K to eight. Religious rate, the family state. What's up to my nigga Nate? Don't worry, brother Carla, always make up late. And then I wake up late. Let's move to that high school fool. Shorty's looking good, got me on the jewel. Short and skinny, kind of cool, but quiet though. This loving pilot, yo. Stay in what you like to hide, bro. I must attest, EMS was the best. The third best made me fail the stress test. So I took a rest, then I lasted for about a year. Next step, Lake and Nas here. Yo, I miss my nigga K Digger, D Money, P Rizza, and Marcel the Great. Still, I had to fill my mental plate because it's coming late out the gate. Graduate the ham done. Yo, I was ant, man. Like a concept I framed done. Plenty love was everywhere. Came in one, but yo, I still stare at the stars and say what could have been. I should have got it in. I get down to sin. I didn't have to grind just to eat. Never doing bad things for me. Never doing shit like holding heat. And yo, I got the love for the lost of me. Do you feel the fucking worst of me? Woo! That's who Mr. C is, by the way. If you don't know, crying oh, yeah. for president, write me in. We knocking out reparations. <gasps> we putting taxes up on people over $10 million to 60%. We stopping wars. We real building America. We going to pay everybody. We ubi in. We going to break it down. We going to use that war money to pay you. Right, Mr. C, and if you hate both parties. Anyway, close it out. <laughs> out comedians. Oh. Let's give a clap, clap, clap for all our comedians who came to the show at the Dive Bar Show. Great comedians like Kenny, the bad motherfucking man. Rah, liar! And of course, we got Al Capone's little sister, the TV show producer, Susie, the sitcom. And that's the one that we always got. My man in India, my brother from another mother. And hook me up with that computer shit dog, Shaggy. <laughs> yeah. And that's the point of this. Oh, we got baby girl herself. You know what? She can take off the clothes and not get kicked out. She can grab your titties and then get your beer on you. You be ready to show some love for Rachel. And of course, the bad man himself, Mr. Smooth, keep it groove, touch you in a place that your mama didn't want you to move. Do you know And last but not least, the rider with her caballo mate on the couch. She rides him, she rides him, she rides him. You show some love for this whole team. <laughs> we got Carol Noel with the wheels of steel and why don't you take us home, baby girl? It's the Dive Bar Comedy Show. All right, Mr. C. This yeah. was a fun show. This was awesome. And uh, Shaggy is right. Everybody is super good looking. So I'm glad that we're doing the video now so people could see us. And uh, you can yes. hear us wherever you listen to podcasts. So um, we are live on Facebook every Tuesday night, Woo! and then on Wednesdays, the replay goes up, so you can check us out at divebarcomedy.com, or just look up Dive Bar Comedy wherever you listen to podcasts. We're on iTunes, Android Play, and all over the place. So, uh, yeah, this I believe this is episode 108. I want to say thank you to all of our fine comics and all of our fans and all the people that listen please tune in every week and we will give you announcements about new shows when we start getting out there live and of course carol is doing her shows uh so carol you want to plug your shows you have every week six shows tell people about your shows carol uh the first and foremost is on friday we're having the carpool comedy if you just google eventbrite carpool comedy i'll pop right up and we are going to have an awesome show. Susie Sick comes in there. Uh, we got Perry Kurtz. We got uh, a lot of people that have been on this show, actually. Dave Carter um, and Amanda Cohen is our headliner. Nikki Paris is our feature. Come out for that. Where? Um, it, it is in Van Nuys at the Palace Production Center. Uh, all the details are on the event, right? So please come and see us do our very first carpool comedy show on friday 
And then for Fine. all the other shows that I do and all the other details, just find me on Facebook at the World's Best Laugh. All right, Carol. Ooh. Thank Can you guys. Thanks thing? to all our uh, comments. Hope everybody had fun and have a great night. Hey, hey, you guys one, more thing before we go. one more thing before we go. One more thing uh -huh. before we go. Something we never say, and I advise everybody that ever does anything live or streaming. For the people who are watching, if this is your first time, like, share, tell your friends. It's free to like. It's free to share. Tell Follow everybody. Donate Instagram. if you can. And we should say it early <laughs> in the beginning, and we need to say it at the end. And everybody, I advise you to ever do it on every live stream. Dive Bar Comedy on Facebook. Like, share, stream it. It's free to do, and it takes you three seconds. Yeah, follow Thank us on Instagram you. too, right? Woo. Yeah, Instagram. Yeah. yeah, we're all on Instagram. We're all on Facebook. We're all all over the place. So look us up. LA and India's best comics. Yeah. <laughs> look at my teeth. All right, that'll do it. Nice. We're going out of here.